Hello guys and welcome back to episode 29 of the Candles Creations podcast. Today is April 22nd, 2022 and I have a bit to talk about today, knitting wise and also um, personal stuff, but the personal stuff will be at the end so if you guys are not interested in that, um, you can leave early, I guess. Anyways, so. Finished objects. Let me grab the little pile. Finished objects. Um, this was a half finished object last week. My second pair of meditation test knit socks. Um, I finished them a little while ago. And they're blocked. They have been worn, which is why they're, like, kind of stretched out. Um, because I wore them yesterday. But they are, like, my go-to socks. I love them. And, oh, why in my voice? Just decided to not work. This pair was knit in the Little Fox. The Little Fox's, oh, focus. Um, Arctic Fox Fingering 100% Superwash Merino. In the color All of Me. Very cute. I will link the Ravelry and the Instagram of Sarah Kamitz, who is the designer behind this pattern, in the description as well as um, the Little Fox's Knits. Whew. Okay, first finished object. Second one, you guys have not seen at all. Um, so, it's very exciting. I finished this last night, um, hence why there's still stitch markers and two ends to get woven in. But, this, I'm going to do this one because it's one of the stitch markers, is Northern Knits and Pearls Winter Sun Socks. Very cute, very pretty. I really like it. This is my... First time doing like a two wide cable um, on this one. I messed up right here. I don't know if you can see it, but I did a right leaning cable instead of a left leaning cable. Oh well. Don't care enough. I didn't. I, oh well. It. It's fine. It makes it more unique. Um, this was also my first time doing whatever heel flap this is. Um, if you guys know what it is, please tell me in the comment section because never heard of it, never done it before. But I liked it. This pattern was really easy to memorize. So four pattern repeat and three of the rows are almost exactly the same. And so it's really pretty easy to memorize. Oops, sorry, that's my Discord. Um, ah, so, I have both of them done. The, like, main starting end still needs to get woven, but that'll happen, and they'll get blocked soon. And this one has a lot more stitch markers, because this was the first one, and I put a stitch marker in every repeat for this one, just so I was like, Almost every repeat, I didn't down here for some reason. But, um, just so I knew exactly how far along I was. And then with this one, I did a lot less, as you can see. So, I really like these. I really like this pattern. It's written very well. Um, this is my second Northern Knits and Pearls pattern. My first one was the Skipping Stone Socks which I got when I actually applied to test this one. Um, but, still very glad I knit these socks. And, this is knit in, let me grab it, that was my elbow, in Fiber for the People's 80% Fine Merino Wool, 20% Nylon Fingering, in the color Boolean. And, yeah. This 
was the yarn I was waiting for for a very very long time and I thought I'd be making a second skipping stone Ooh. skipping stone skipping stones socks but instead I made a midnight sun socks so I have one half finished object um, let me really quickly oh no oh no 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 oh god what did I do to give me a second sorry I'm all tangled okay no longer tangled um this is also one you guys have not seen and this one is very exciting for me but here it is this is the side with all the stitch markers this is the side without here it is this is my own pattern um I'm trying to see if you can it's very pretty I've called it the swimmer's lane socks because to me it just kind of looks like in a pool when there's like lane dividers for swimmers it kind of looks like that even though it's in a bright pink but hello <laughs> so I still have to finish so I have one sock finished and most of the cuff of a second sock so I need to finish this sock and then finish typing up the pattern um, which it won't take me that long to type up the pattern because I already have all of the information written down in my notebook I just need to transfer it to online and then once this sock is finished and I take pictures and it's blocked and yada 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 I will be putting out a test knitter application very excited I'm hoping to have the test knitter application out by the end of the week like up next week not the week that's gonna be over in two weeks two days um and so I'm very excited to have my first pattern like in testing um very very cool to me and then this isn't it with a cascade yarn cascade yarns heritage in a baby pink color I don't know the color name it's getting blown out but it's like a baby pink so I don't know the actual color name oopsies I will find the color name and link it down below as well as the yarn and the artist of and the pattern designer for these ones and now on to whips I don't think any this is just yarn I don't think any progress has been made since you guys last saw this whip because I've been on a bit of a sock binge there has great there hasn't oh well this is gonna get worked on um after this sock is finished I just was knitting two socks at a time for a while and that was like all I could focus on and so this is my my little secret crop by Jesse made designs you guys know this pattern very well um this is knit in the Barocco yarn that I mentioned last time um I actually can you can you see right here Barocco Pima 100 in the color 8487 so yeah again don't know if any progress has been made since last time progress will be getting made soon um because I really want to finish all of these tank tops I have in queue before I go off to college so I can have like a ton of tank tops um, and for summer so I can have a ton of tank tops for summer because it's summer and who doesn't love tank tops in summer when it's like 90 degrees because duh like <laughs> so that is that 
I have two acquisitions. One of them I think I talked about last time. But, yeah, I definitely talked about it last time, but it just hadn't gotten delivered yet. And the other one is completely new and still hasn't gotten delivered yet because I ordered it yesterday. So, you guys will see it in person next podcast episode. But this one, there's a hair on it, is Forage Fiber Company's Non Superwash Merino in Spring Green. And I got their dusk fingering um to do my DNA socks in and I really love their yarn and it's a very very pretty color I've never gotten a color like this before this like oh that's my other elbow like palish green it's very very pretty and I really like it I don't know what sock pattern I don't know what socks I'm gonna make with it yet um gonna make something haven't quite decided because I do need to make a second pair of my swimmers line socks but I haven't decided if I'm going to use this yarn or my explore knits and fibers spring tunnels in aster so haven't decided which one I'm gonna use yet um, leaning more towards this one but I don't know so I'll just go back in the basket and my other acquisition I got yesterday as a congratulations for something I'll talk about later so you guys aren't bored with my personal updates but it's from Delirium Fiber Arts on Etsy it is her Mermaid Odyssey hand dyed yarn in her Loki fingering base. And it is so beautiful. Um, it's my first time getting a yarn like that. Um, it's pink and purple and blue. It's so pretty. I love it so much. I almost bought a different one. And then I saw that one and fell in love with that one. Might still buy the other one later if it's still available. But it's so beautiful. Ooh. Sorry. That came out of nowhere. And really, really excited for that yarn to come in. I don't know what I'm going to make with it. I have one, two, three, four, five things of sock yarn. And don't know what I'm gonna make with most of them so woo! <laughs> I might start making some repeats of some of the patterns that are in here um, like the skipping stone socks or I don't know what else I haven't done a lot of pattern socks I think yeah like the skipping stone socks I don't think I'm gonna do another DNA sock because that just took a long time but I also might just find some socks on Ravelry that I like or go through my own little pattern library to see which ones I haven't created that I'm like wanting to make. Um, I don't know. Who knows? Yarn is pretty so I buy yarn before having a project for it most of the time. What can you do? But on to some boring personal well it's not boring to me but it might be boring to you guys personal life stuff so I am on spring break today's my last day of spring break I go back to school on Monday uh, but I have 17 days left of school before I graduate and that's like really crazy like really crazy um it's, I'm like about to graduate, but I'm excited and it's going to kind of be hell because AP testing is coming up and I'm in three AP classes and woo, so a whole lot of studying. I have to do some prep work um, before I go back to school so then I can not have to do a ton of prep work. 
the day of because I procrastinate a lot. But that's fun. I also, the reason I bought yarn yesterday was because I got a job. Yay, I'm so proud of myself. I had two interviews. I had one interview on Tuesday and then one on yesterday. And yesterday they told me they were offering me the job and I'm super excited. It's not like your standard teenager job, I guess. Like it's not in fast food. It's not in like retail or anything like that. And I'm really excited. I should be starting next week, which means one, I'll have access to more money to buy more yarn, but I'll have less time to knit. I'll still have my weekends because the company isn't open on the weekends. So I'll still have my weekends to knit and they aren't open like super late. So it's not like I'll be working until like nine o'clock at night. I have to come home, do homework, yada, yada, yada. So I, I can make it work and still get in a little bit of knitting, but it won't be. I get to spend 10 hours, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 hours knitting a day because like during the week because that's just not gonna happen and I will be working full-time over summer so I won't have every single day of summer to just knit um but I'll still have a pretty decent chunk of time to knit um so I'll be getting off work at like six so I'll get like six hours to knit which is pretty decent plus weekends so, I think that's pretty cool. I'm pretty okay with that. And, very excited. I will be buying probably way more yarn than I can afford. Actually, no, I'll be able to afford it. Um, but, I'm thinking about doing something a little crazy. We're going to completely ignore the fact that I have a sweater on ice that's been on ice for months, which I really need to get going even though it's going to be summer soon although it doesn't really feel like summer because it snowed two days ago so it does not feel like it's gonna be getting warm soon but it's supposed to be like 70 soon like 70 80 so i'm hoping hoping it's like 70s 80s for the rest and not like 30 and so let me actually grab this one in my little Tarje basket. This is the cursed sweater that has been on hold on ice since November. Just a basic raglan sweater with my own little improvised pattern. Um, I do still kind of want to finish this. I just, I don't know. I might start, start it back up soon. Because it is absolutely beautiful. They have all of the yarn for it. So if I have the yarn for it, why not use it? You know? And so, I think that's what I'm going to do soon. I might... Knowing B, I'm probably going to start this back up tonight. Because... I... I just... have no impulse control. But... Um, when I'm going to start this back up... I'm gonna start with the sleeves because so I don't have sleeve island I have body island but then like once I'm done with all of the big knitting of the body like it's done I don't have to do like two more sleeves because I do the sleeves like I work until the end of the ball on the body wherever the end of the ball is and then I just go with the sleeves, finish the sleeves, and then I pick up the body again. So it's a lot of putting stitches on hold, taking stitches off of hold, but I find this is the way that works best for me to get me to like really finish it. And so, yeah, I'm actually going to take this out because I want to finish this before I start another sweater. And with getting... A job means money, obviously. Duh. And I'm thinking about maybe making 
a sweater with mohair. I've never worked with mohair before. I have felt it. Um, the little yarn shop in Michigan. I went to where I got these last episode. They had some mohair and I touched it because I never touched mohair before. And I kind of like the kid mohair more, so I'll most likely get that. But I kind of wanted it a sweater with it. It's most likely just going to be a basic sweater. I have no clue what pattern or anything I'm going to use. I'm just going to search one up after I finish that sweater because I know if I don't, this one is not going to get finished and it really needs to. So does the cardigan that's been on hold for like a while, but we'll finish that eventually too. <laughs> and so I think that is going to be all for today. I will see you guys for another podcast episode in two weeks, I think. Oh, also with me getting a job, I think my podcasts are going to move to Saturdays just because since I don't work on Saturdays, I have more time to film and do all that stuff. Um, so, sorry, but it needs to happen so I can have a job. Unless, somehow, some way, the lighting is really good. They might still only get uploaded on Saturdays. I don't know. We'll figure that out when time comes. But I'm also thinking about doing a video with my experience being a tester for the first time. It's a great experience. But going more in depth about it. Because, um, you know, these socks and these ones because I made them twice for my first test knit and so I kind of want to make a video about that and then whenever my sock pattern is released don't know when that'll be probably thinking like June-ish like early June um I will make a video on my experience creating a pattern and all of that stuff. And yes, I will see you guys for another podcast in two weeks. So please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and do all of that jazz if you like seeing me and hearing me ramble about all things knitting and fiber arts even though it's mainly knitting I do crochet I promise um, but yes I need to stop like dragging this along so bye